Hi, my name is Denise McCabe and this is my Makeup Monday for this week. And today I'm going to be playing with the Paradise Palm stamp set and dies. They are on the retirement list, much to my disappointment. Um, and also I'm playing with, or oh, I'm using the stitched rectangle dies also retiring and the layering circle dies also retiring. Now we've got the list and I have sent it out to people who are on my email mail mailing list if you would like a copy of the last chance or retirement list let me know and i'll get a copy to you um it goes live on tuesday the 4th of april so but if there's anything that you really really want before um that's now let me think about how to say this anything you really really want that's not heavily discounted and that is retiring, I suggest you place an order before the 4th of April in case it sells out. If you want something that's heavily discounted, then I'd wait until the, the um, retirement list is live. So there are things um, discounted from 10 to 60% off. So there are some huge savings on a lot of stamp sets and dies and um, product. So have a look at the list, go through your calendar, calendar go through your catalogue and mark off things in your catalogue and um, let me know if you, I can help you with anything. So let's switch over to my craft desk. Okay, <clears throat> so as I said this is a stamp set I'm a bit sad that's retiring. I had a class ready to go when COVID hit and we got locked down. <laughs> so that class never happened. Then I rescheduled the class once we came out of lockdown and then I think I got sick so that class never happened. <laughs> so I think I did an online class and I was able to do that but yeah um, <laughs> it just was destined never to have a class an in-person class. So these are some of the cards I've made with it over the time it's been available and I just love it it's such a tropical feel um, you know island vibe perfect because I guess I guess because my daughter's still on a honeymoon over in Fiji so it kind of reminds me of her um, beautiful stamp set and dies and you can make gorgeous cards cards quite simply so this one I've got the pelican from the waves of um, the ocean um, I think I also used the ocean front stamp set for this one that's not retiring so that's a bonus um, but yeah so a lot of blending I've done for these cards so I just thought I'd show you those that I've done with this stamp set and dies so if we go to our catalogue so here's the stamp set in the catalogue on page 23 now it is 10% off so it's normally $41 so it'll be down to $36.90 so that's quite good but the dies, the dies are 40% off. So let me find the dies in the back somewhere. I've got a few things marked. <laughs> okay, so the dies are on page 172 down the bottom here. They're 40% off. So they are normally $61. So they're down to $36.60. So that's a good bargain. <laughs> so you could get both they're both down to 36 dollars and some cents so instead of 41 and 61 which is 102 you'd be paying roughly 72 dollars for this stamp set and dies um, the other thing I'm using are the layering circle dies that's a bit sad that they're retiring they're 30 percent off they're on page 172 normally 61 dollars they're down to 42 dollars 70 they're a great set of dies to have and the stitched rectangle dies are also going so that's these ones and they're 10% off so they're normally 61 so they're down to $54.90 so those those prices the reduced prices are from Tuesday the 4th of April and not beforehand the other thing I might just let you know about is that I've gone through and there are price increases for the new 
annual catalogue that's coming. The Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue is going up $2.50. So it's currently $7. It's going to go up to $9.50. So if you use that, I suggest you buy that during the month of April at the reduced price. Well, not the reduced price, at this year's price of $7 for the, the um, container. Um, the other thing that's a big thing that's happening is that the Stamparatus is retiring and it's not being replaced. So the Stamparatus is um, a stamping positioning tool and it's really, really good. I love it for the big background stamps um, because I can't get my hand around a big block and get even pressure when I push it down. Um, they say that they've got legal proceedings going on with um, another company who's got a stamp positioning tool but ads is quite different to this other company's so obviously it's just too much of a hassle to keep it on the market so hopefully they'll bring something else out um, what else did I want to tell you maybe that was it yeah that's it that'll do for now <laughs> so let's get started Let me put that in there Okay, so I've already done a little bit of prep. So Rich Razzleberry is one of the colours that is going. It's retiring. So I thought I'd use a retiring colour. And I'd use a colour, Fresh Freesia, that's an in colour, but it's staying. It's going into, I think, the Suttles collection. So, and I've used the Stitch re Rectangle die for that. I've got a layering circle die here. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll just have a sip. Layering circle die here for um, what I'm going to do with this. And, whoops. Let me just um, get my laptop a little bit more organised. <coughs> um, yeah, so what I need to do is minimize that is um, I want to do a bit of stamping and a bit of die cutting so let's do the stamping first I want to stamp these palm trees and I'll put them on my D block the D block is the best block to use and I am going to get my um, markers out and the stamp and write markers are all going to be reconfigured because of so many colors going um another color that's going which is a bit of a shock is soft sway I wasn't expecting that one now let me just get this shaded spruce oh, that shaded spruce okay so if you haven't seen um, stamping with markers before what you do is you just color the part of the stamp with the marker that you're wanting colored I think I've done it in some videos but anyway this is just a refresher and then I want the tops of my palm trees to be green So yes, there's a lot going, a lot retiring, and also new colours coming in, old colours coming back. So there's a lot to take on board with the retirement lists and everything. Now you just huff on it. And that moistens up the ink again, and you can stamp it down. And there you have your trees. So that's, that's a cool thing. Markers are great to doing... And it only works really with the cling stamps, the red rubber stamps. Um, it doesn't work very well with the photopolymer stamps. But it, it's a nice technique if you've got time to do it. So let me think what else I want to do. So I want to die cut that. I want to die cut a big palm tree and the grass. And maybe some little palm trees to go behind it, behind this one. That might be nice. 
So let's put that over there. And I will bring my die cutting machine in. I'll just move all of this. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so these machines are also going up in price as well, so that's something else to consider. Now that's not big enough, that piece of black cardstock. Look at that. I thought it would be. Let me grab another piece. Here we go. Okay. So, oh, just. <laughs> Um, so I want that in black and I want one of these in black and I want this, the glass. So I'll just put them all on and wind it through in one go and that saves a lot of time. There we go. Pull my grass out in my other palm tree. Okay, <coughs> so that's that, and I want this one again to cut these palm trees out. So I'm just lining it up. I've had a bit of a wet day here on the central coast today <clears throat> and a bit cooler too. Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> okay, so let me just pull that out. And there we go, there we've got some little palm trees. Okay, so let's get rid of our cut emboss machine back over on the cupboard. So consequently, I haven't been able to go for my walk or take my dog for a walk today because it's been so wet and miserable. But that's okay. <laughs> Sometimes the rain is sent for us to have a rest. So I shall just put these back on my die sheet. I'm so glad this one's going. Not to worry. Not to worry. But I am sad. <laughs> Can't just pop this back in here. Might be one I might hang on to. Who knows? Okay, so I'm going to get my dye brush and I'm going to just um, brush out these or maybe just poke them out. They're not wanting to brush out. Maybe I needed to wind it through twice. Oh no, they're coming out now. So I've spent most of today going through all my... Um, my stash and putting stickers on what's retiring and moving what's keeping what what's staying and so I've been sort of doing that it's a bit sad when you look at your stamps collection because I think I've lost 29 stamp sets <laughs> but that's okay you know what I'm really only sad about four or five of them so that tells me I wasn't using the others very often, so I'm not sad about it. And it's, um, some people get really annoyed that they retire stuff, stamping up retire stuff. But it, it's just like a shop, really. I mean, a dress shop. You don't go into a dress shop year after year and see the same products available. Um, so I get why they do it. And... 
I think we just need to accept it. <laughs> but some people don't. Okay, so let's have a little look. Let's attach our grass. No, let's attach our tree. Let's do our palm tree. Now, I should have put that on an adhesive sheet, and I did not. But that's okay. There's a fair bit of area that you can put glue. It's only when it's like really, really intricate um, is it good to have the adhesive sheet. If it's not too intricate, then you can get away with it. And I need my take your pick tool to pick this up because I haven't cleaned my silicon mat off with um, glue. So I'm going to sort of just put this a bit on an angle. Like so. I don't think I need that again actually. Because I'm going to put my grass up on dimensionals. So I'm just finishing off a little bit of leftover dimension dimensionals here. So I might use those for my grass. I could use my black ones, but there you go. I haven't thought of that until just then. <laughs> Okay, Let's put a little tiny piece down here, maybe. If it's visible, I'll get rid of it because I don't want it visible. No, it's not visible. Okay, so just peel your backs off. So I've got a class coming up on the 15th of April, and it's going to be the um, <coughs> Lighting the Way bundle from the mini catalog and I'm really happy that that one's carried over I'm really happy about that okay so that's that it's looking good let me get rid of this actually I won't put that away because I need to clean it and let's bring in a layering circle and piece of scrap because I want to do some blending okay so I've got my yellow one here so I shall grab my daffodil delight and I'm going to just put some blending down the bottom it's like a sunset Olivia has sent me a couple of photos from Fiji of beautiful sunsets, gorgeous sunsets. Looks like they're having a really nice time. So that's nice. So I'm going to get a little bit of fresh freesia. And I wonder if I should get one of my other little brushes. this one good on it nothing so let's go with that because I just want to do a little bit of a light mauve purple so the little mini blending brushes are carrying over as well so that's good because I like them and now I'm going to get, which those are very, I've pulled them all off my shelf, so now I've got to find it. There we go. <laughs> and this is purples. Okay. So this is going to be heavier. Oh, it really has taken off the... Um, fresh freesia, hasn't it? Not to worry. It'll do. Oh, it's not too bad. I wanted sort of a shaded gradient down, and I think I've kind of successfully achieved that. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. 
Okay, so now I'm going to bring these two in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stagger these like like so, sort of. <laughs> okay, so I shall not worry about my adhesive sheet. I'll just use my scrap. And I'm just going to just sort of stagger it. Just sort of like there's a shadow. Okay. So I think I can get rid of this now. And we can bring this back. So I have got my new April host code, but if you shop online with me via my blog, you won't technically need it because if you click on the April host code image, it goes straight to the online store and that's got a link with that on it. Okay, so I might pop these up on dimensionals or will I not? Let me think. And I could put this like so. Maybe that should be up on dimensionals. Um, let me just think about it. <laughs> no, I think I want the palm trees on dimensionals and I want the circle flat. Now, and as I speak, it's raining again. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, I might be able to take my little Rosie for a walk, but no, not happening. Okay, these are the mini dimensionals, and they're really good as well to have in your stash. You can get them in black as well. Okay, I might put that there, and I might just snip. Oh, look, I've already done that. Snip a long one. For that trunk although is it too wide oh no that works it's a miracle <coughs> i learned this trick and i keep forgetting to use it i shouldn't because that's a good trick okay so let's grab our little circle and i'm going to put it like so And I believe I want that flat. Or do I? <laughs> I don't know. No, I think I want that raised as well. Look at me just changing my mind all the time. think it come off there we go okay so we're going to put that on a fresh freesia piece like so and we shall pop it over here so it's nice to use things that are retiring because it shows you what is going and what is staying um but yeah, these are going up $2.50 with the new catalogue. So if you use them like I do, it might be worthwhile stocking up on them. I'm going to place an order and get some. Okay, so I'm just popping that there, like so. These are the black ones. So if you want to put things behind, black dimensionals behind black card stuff, they're really great. I just forget sometimes because <laughs> I'm a silly duffer. Okay, um, I believe the matte black dots are going as well. So I've got a brand new pack right there. <laughs> but it's okay. 
so I might just put some dots on over here so yes I'm pretty sure they're retiring as well and we want a little sentiment so the sentiments in this one is let's just move that across <laughs> um hope you find a little paradise wherever you may be happy birthday retirement wishes wishing you a warm and beachy kind of day i think that looks like a tropical paradise to me so i think that's the one we have to use um, I've just got to work out which one it is. This one. And then I shall need to make sure it's okay. So we'll use our rich razzleberry, seeing it's our retiring colour. And I shall just stamp it down here just to make sure I've mounted it straight. Not bad. Okay, so I'll put it up a bit because I'm going to punch it out with a punch. And that was a bit silly because I've got, can put it in very well. Didn't stamp it very well for my punch so I'll just take a little bit off the edge just want there we go can you see what I'm doing I'm just lining it up centering it up and if you press it sort of half down it just sort of grips your cardstock so you can get it right and I've got another one punched out <laughs> I didn't line that up very well so but that's okay, I'll use that one on something else. And I think that looks really nice. Do I want to go around it with my purple? Just carefully do the edges. Very carefully. <laughs> I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I will grab another dimensional for this side because it's going to sit half on, half off. And I'll get my fake snail. <laughs> there we go. I think that looks pretty good and now I shall get a card insert for my card I'm gonna need another dimensional down there somewhere <sighs> da, da, da. so I could do palm trees again so let me get my markers out again spruce and soft suede. I can't believe soft suede's retiring. That's a bit sad. Okay, so I'm just going to go down on my trunks, tree trunks again. Like so. And shaded spruce on the um palm tree leaves our son is down in Melbourne this weekend for the Formula One <laughs> him and his girlfriend partner Lucy they love all things sport <sighs> so I've huffed on that and that's where they are this weekend but he said it was sunny in Melbourne go figure and when is it ever sunny in Melbourne <laughs> Sorry if anybody from Melbourne's watching. 
Okay, so I'm just going to put some glue around the edge. And I'll pop that in here. So I've shown you a bit of blending with the blending brushes. And I've shown you marker, inking your stamps up with a marker and then huffing on them to reactivate it. Um, there we go. So I hope you really like that card. I think it's a nice card. I think it's very tropical and a little bit of paradise wherever you may be. Just getting a bit of excess glue off there. And I will go back and put a little bit of a dimension on underneath that just to make it sit flat. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I really like that card. I think it's pretty cute. And you can see I stamp all over here, making things are straight. <laughs> oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you that's retiring, which is one of the ones I'm really quite devastated about, oh, are the framed florets. I'm really sad about those ones because I don't think we've had them long enough. So let me find them in here. Let's just go to the back and find them that way. Yes, very sad about that, but I believe they're really well reduced. So if you were contemplating getting these, page 65, I've got a feeling they're 65, 60% off. They are. Um, if you love these frame florets um, and you haven't got it yet, get it now <laughs> um let me just double check then i've got the prices right because i don't want to lead you astray um page it's done by page number that's right 65 Okay, the dies are 60% off. The stamp set is not 60% off. I've done that wrong. So the bundle is retiring, but the dies is a 60% off. So that brings the dies down to $26 instead of 65. The stamp set's not discounted, it's 41. But the dies are 60% off. So that's a huge discount. And if you really like the Fran Florets as much as I do, that would be going into my shopping cart on Tuesday. <laughs> so I am sad about that one. That's one of the ones I'm sad about, along with Paradise Palms. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And let's click back. To the face view where I am <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that card um let me know if I, I can be of any help with anything on the retirement list or any information that you might want um use my April host code if you're placing an order and I shall see you on Wednesday night for my next Facebook live bye for now <laughs>